Sarwe. Today we are present at High Tech University, Texla, and I'm interviewing Professor Dr. Mohammad Yunus Javed, who is the Vice Chancellor of High Tech University. Let's talk to him. Welcome, Professor. Thank you. Thank you, and I'm really grateful you have visited today High Tech University, and uh, it is very good, and uh, you know, I'm very happy. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself, your early life, where you grew up, what you studied, and what career path you pursued before becoming the Vice Chancellor. Okay, so I belong to Bimber Azad Shamir, and uh, my initial education is from Bimber up to Matric, and uh, then uh, I did FSC uh, from Mipur, and uh, uh, then I got uh, admission in University of Engineering and Technology, Lahore. I did engineering. Uh, in 1982 and uh, then I joined Army and I got selected uh, in uh, higher studies abroad and 1987 I went for my master's to University of Dundee, Scotland where I completed master's and then I got admission in PhD and it was sponsored by Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of Pakistan. I completed my PhD in 1991 and came back to Pakistan. How do you want to see your vice chancellorship in the next decade? Well, it is an excellent question. Uh, I am looking uh, to really take this university to further heights. Uh, my predecessor, uh, vice chancellor, uh, Brigadier Kamar Zama, he worked very hard, and this university has got uh, you know its name. And uh, there are uh, many areas in which we have to grow. Uh, we'll be uh, adding more departments and uh, in engineering as well as in sciences and arts. And uh, we will also be having more population of students in uh, different disciplines of engineering and disciplines of sciences. And uh, we'll be focusing on research as well because uh, any university which is going to, apart from you know high quality teaching, who are going to concentrate on research, that university is going to make a difference. And uh, I have dedicated faculty, highly qualified faculty, and they have got research interest in different areas. And our students are brilliant. Uh, they are really very brilliant. And uh, my masters and my PhD students, uh, they are working, and we have got a good population of masters and PhD students. And I hope that we'll be taking projects from heavy industry tax law. We will be contributing to with the other uh, industry and uh, hopefully we will be meeting their needs and requirements. And that is, will be main focus uh, both on research as well as on education and linkages with the industry, linkages with the other universities so that we can uh, benefit from each other's experience. Uh, so, sir, what do you have to say about the international acknowledgement what uh, you were telling me right now? Well, uh, uh, you know, your uh, degree, if uh, it is recognized worldwide, so your students are going to really benefit out of it. So uh, at High Tech University, we thought that uh, we must go on OBE, that is outcome-based education. And our faculty was trained, and uh, they got a complete grip on the rules and regulation of Washington Court. And uh, then we applied for uh, OBE accreditation, and Pakistan Engineer Council, they visited us, their evaluation team, and we went through the complete accreditation process. And uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, everything went well. And we have got uh, three years uh, accreditation under OBE of electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, and then computer engineering was first time uh, it was accredited. We have got two, two years OBE accreditation, and in computer science, uh, we have got W category. So our students, those who have got OB recognition, uh, can go for a job uh, to the advanced countries like USA, UK, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Malaysia, China, uh, and uh, all these advanced countries as their own engineers. So this is a huge benefit to my, my graduates uh, who will be right, getting jobs without any problem in the international market. So, what do you think uh, the students of high tech university can compete on international level? Oh yes, uh, they have got uh, you know the attributes which are needed for the purpose of providing education. So there are uh, uh, 12 graduate attributes. Uh, we have uh, worked at this university 
to import education covering all those 12 attributes and we have mapped uh, you know how they will be covered and how we are going to meet the program educational objectives and uh, if uh, you go in detail and you solve those complex problems and you have open under labs and you have got quality education you evaluate your labs and uh, other uh, examinations based upon solid rubrics so then international recognition is there and uh, we have uh, got that international recognition uh, through the evaluation process and uh, our students wherever they go uh, for the purpose of interview and job, uh, they will be successful. What do you have to say about the new programs launching at uh, High Tech University? Oh, well, uh, immediately, uh, since civil engineering is uh, a very hot discipline nowadays, and there is a huge construction and huge uh, road infrastructure which is needed, so we have, uh, you know, a shortage of civil engineers. So what we want that, uh, you know, uh, we should produce civil engineers, and other universities are doing also a great job. Uh, since many people uh, in this region, they want to become civil engineer and they have approached us uh, to open this uh, discipline of engineering so that they don't have to go to uh, other provinces and areas. And uh, if you see uh, the literacy rate in war, it is highest in Pakistan. It is about uh, 98, 99 percent. So are these uh, students uh, right, who want to do, do engineering instead of going to other areas uh, far away from their homes, so this will be a good place for them to become civil engineers. For this purpose, uh, in September 2019, we plan uh, to start the engineering and for this purpose, we have applied to Pakistan Engineering Council. They will be coming uh, for uh, their uh, inspection uh, next month and hopefully we have worked hard and we have uh, prepared the infrastructure and we are ordered the equipment they, which they need. So everything will be inshallah okay. We will be starting in September 2019. So what do you have to say about the uh, contribution of high tech university in grooming the students? Well, uh, uh, if you see today you are here and we, we, we have got, uh, you know, Olympiad 2019 function going on. So it is not only, you know, academic uh, classroom, right, where you teach them, you know, every time they are going through different exams and, you know, the students' complete grooming is academics, their professional excellence, then, you know, there's physical fitness and then, you know, how uh, they really, right, uh, interact with the uh, other colleagues. So we arrange, uh, you know, a series of functions. One is Olympiad. Other is, uh, you know, a job fair. Then we have got uh, a robotic competition. Then we have got, you know, eight or nine societies. So every society is going to have right, different. We have got so many seminars in which students are involved, so many workshops, so many international conferences. So all these are here to groom students so that uh, they see where the level of education is in other parts of the world and uh, what they are being taught over here. What are the other avenues, you know, which are open to them? So they learn a lot uh, through sports competitions, through software competitions, through design project competitions, through their exam competitions. So in this way, uh, they as a whole, they become a human being right, in which uh, they can contribute uh, wherever they go uh, while they are interacting with the individuals. So they will be, first of all, a good human being. So they must have all those qualities. Then they should be having a good knowledge so that they can do something. Then they should be a good team leader. So we all right, are focusing on these parameters. And uh, uh, I think wherever they go, they will carry name and fame of the university. In your opinion, why a student should get admission in high tech university? Uh, I completed my FSC, so my parents and myself, we were looking for a university where we have got uh, good faculty, then the laboratories, how well equipped those laboratories are, uh, then the curricula, uh, the curricula which is being followed, is it meeting the international requirements of engineering in that particular discipline? So we have electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, computer engineering, and computer science, mathematics, and Islamic studies. In all these areas, uh, we have got highly competent faculty. And uh, anybody who gets an admission in high-tech university, he will be taught 
in an effective manner by these highly qualified teachers once they are taken to the laboratories you can see laboratories they are spacious and all the latest needed equipment is there we have spent millions and millions of rupees in upgrading and strengthening our labs then you know uh, looking at that how international universities what is the benchmarking what they are doing and where we stand we are closing those gaps and because of all these things our students who are graduated you can measure the you know success of a university only once you see whether your graduates are getting job or not if your jobs if your graduates who go in the market they get the jobs and right 95% or 98% or 99% are right doing the job it means you are producing good product alhamdulillah uh, keeping in view our past performance keeping with you our reputation keeping with you right the commitment of the university so any new student who will be looking for admission in engineering or mathematics or islamic studies will be looking towards high tech university so any message for the students and for the youth in general well uh, the youth is very talented in pakistan uh, this is i am telling you because i was i spent uh, about 32 years in in teaching and uh, these uh, students they only need to be polished uh, they are they can do wonderful job so message is that uh, wherever they go they should concentrate on their studies because this is the time where they have when they have to learn if they concentrate and uh, they set their direction right whether they are in medicine or in engineering or in mathematics or in any field in of their own interest uh, they can excel and when you know they have got those uh, skills then they can go anywhere within pakistan in any place in pakistan anywhere in the world uh, they can enjoy because uh, you know their capabilities not only in pakistan they are recognized all over the world and i am sure they will be successful what they need to concentrate on their objectives they must achieve their objectives thank you professor so this was the interview of the worthy vice chancellor of high tech university mohammed yunus Uh, if you want to watch any other academia related celebrity do write to us and visit our social media pages and our web page that is university times dot pk if you want to watch more interesting news then visit us at university times till then ciao